right, so I'm on Ulta's website right now, and it says the foundation is $11.99. I did get it off of Ulta's website, and I got the shade Buff Beige, which is $130. So I'm usually around the shade $128, I think, in the Maybelline Fit Me, but they didn't have one that out that that was that shade they had nude beige which is 125 in maybelline fit me and then they had a buff beige which is 130 is what it says on here but for some reason on the website it only says the names it doesn't say like the shade number if that makes sense so i feel like they kind of skipped out on that shade because they're only 16 colors it does look like there's a pretty deep shade range as well as light so you might be able to find your shade but there's only 16 shades so who knows so the shade I got is definitely going to be like my most tan shade. So I literally just self tanned. So this hopefully will match me. This foundation does say that it is full coverage. It is their super stay stick foundation. So they came out with the super stay foundation um, pretty recently. That's also full coverage, but it's a liquid foundation. I've actually never tried that foundation. I've saw a lot of like mixed reviews and that it like was super oily kind of and like slipped and slide around so I honestly didn't really feel like picking up I've like gone back and forth I'm picking it up but then I saw the stick foundation and I wanted to try it especially because I just tried the makeup revolution stick foundation I have a full review on that if you want to check that out I'll leave it linked down below but on Ulta's website it basically says that you can use this foundation to like use it as a foundation or you could like cream contour and highlight with it that's like you know the beauty of stick foundations they're like oh you could take it on the go and use it because it does have a sponge applicator on the other uh, on the other side which we're totally going to use and see if it works because i usually hate those applicators so we will see it also says it's supposed to have an up to 24 hour wear which I'm pretty excited about obviously I'm not gonna wear it for 24 hours I'm gonna wear it for 10 hours to show you guys the wear time and see how it lasts on the skin cream to matte finish as well so it should have more of a matte finish on the skin I am gonna use the sponge that is provided so it's like this it feels pretty like cushiony but I have a feeling this is gonna kind of just be first of all too small and then move foundation around really really strangely I do have on the Revlon photo ready um, pore reducing primer in my t-zone let's start swiping Ooh. this might be too dark but we'll see I'm gonna use the brush I just feel like oh it might be okay So, so far it feels like I'm not getting a ton, a ton of coverage right away. And also, if you want me to like cut it, if you've seen the Makeup Revolution review, I was saying how it's very, very creamy. This one definitely feels more like a cream to matte. Like it's definitely going to dry down. Like look, it's already basically a matte finish. So I'm just going to go in with another layer. So, so far it's definitely not full coverage. I mean, the coverage is decent. It's probably like a medium. So right off the bat, you, I feel like if you were to try and get full coverage, you'd have to really build it up. Okay, yeah, it's so matte compared to that other foundation. Totally different. Does look very good on the skin though, like pretty skin-like so far. It is looking a little bit weird oh yeah around my nose and stuff right now because I don't know blending it with a brush I feel like isn't the best okay so around dry areas it is not looking the best um just like around here I kind of have a little bit of drier skin because these um pimples are kind of going away and I just feel like it gathers kind of in weird spots I have a feeling I'm going to need like a damp sponge or something in this because I feel like it's not blending very well because it is more of a dry formula. I hate that. I just put the wrong cap. See how they're two different heights? I put the wrong cap so now I have foundation in the cap and I like smushed it. Ugh. And on the Ulta website, their instructions say to blend with fingertips so... I might try that just to see if it warms up the product any better. So far, this sponge isn't that bad. 
so matte. Oh my god, I can't believe it's this matte of a stick foundation. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is on my forehead, I'm gonna try and blend it with my fingers and just see how that works. It's kind of Oh, I wish you guys could hear the sound that this is making. It's like on my face because it's so much drier. My nose is looking strange. Okay, the forehead area looks good with the fingertips, um, but my hairline, I feel like it's just hard to get this to kind of sink into the skin. It's just kind of sitting on top. I mean, it looks nice from kind of like far away, but I feel like it's not actually sinking in. So I'm going to go wet this sponge and see if I can kind of play with it and get it to look a little bit better. I'll be right back. It is so much more matte than I thought. Like I really didn't think it was actually going to be matte. You know how it said cream to powder, I think is what it said, cream to matte. Um, I really just thought they were going to lie basically and it was going to be more dewy of a finish. I'm going to try to apply a little bit more of this foundation because I do want to see if I can build it up at all. Um, and then I'm going to try and blend it with the sponge. I'm just going to go over these blemish areas and see if we can just build the coverage on that spot and just pat. That worked okay. It's definitely not full coverage. Like 100% not full coverage. It's a very good coverage, like high medium coverage, but not completely full. Okay, so it is about 10 o'clock now, almost 10 o'clock, like three minutes to 10. So that's gonna be our check-in time, like the start time of everything. So I will check in around 8 p.m. tonight as well. So this is what it looks like close up. Um, I think the makeup looks very nice. Obviously, my blemishes are still peeking through, so that's kind of sucky. But other than that, I feel like it just looks beautiful on the skin. Um, it's definitely a very matte finish. The only reason I have this kind of like dewy glow going on is from these models own glow for it illuminating drops i'm trying these out right now for a video bronzer and blush and everything blended beautifully on top of this foundation so that's definitely a plus like i did not put any powder or anything on my skin other than underneath my eyes to set my concealer so that's really good news so far i just don't really know how i feel about it because the application was very difficult so keep that in mind and also if you have any dry patches any dry skin at all this is not going to be the foundation for you. So anyway, I'm definitely going to do check in, see if this lasts for a long time on the skin and I will see you guys in a few hours. I'm back. Okay, you guys, it is 2.39 right now. Can you tell? And I thought I would do a checkup for you guys because we said 10 a.m. was the checkup time. So it's been four, almost five hours now and I can tell that my nose is starting to get shiny. So you know how I said it was like really matte at the beginning and everything. It's definitely getting shiny in my T-zone. I didn't wear a mattifying primer. I just wore the pore minimizing primer by um, Revlon. Also, I've noticed that it's wearing off on my chin. Um, I don't know if you can tell like around here it's wearing off. Another thing is this is starting to look very dry like everywhere around these blemishes is looking super dry like even more so I feel like than when we first put it on and then especially like this area on my chin is looking really like dry and kind of cakey anywhere that's like a little bit drier or I tried to kind of build it up I feel like it's starting to like clump together and just not look as good. I'm gonna go grab a tissue and try and like blot and put a little bit more powder on and I'll be right back. So I feel like this doesn't really stay on for a very long time because it is like I said wearing off around my chin and I I mean I do touch my chin a little bit when I like work and stuff you know but um I feel like I haven't done it very much today and it kind of looks like it's breaking up around here as well. So not, not that great so far for only, you know, four, almost five hours. I am going to set a little bit more with the Maybelline Fit Me powder just to help with these oils. 
All right, so that helped a lot with like the shininess and stuff, just putting some of this powder on and blotting a little bit. But right now I'm feeling like this is gonna be a hard pass for me, but um, we'll see. I'll see you guys in a while. All right, you guys, so it's been 10 hours. It is currently 8 p.m. If you can tell by my watch. And this foundation is definitely not long lasting in my opinion. Um, it has definitely worn off along like my, my chin and like jawline area just from like little bits of leaning and stuff like that. Doesn't kind of like really stay in place. Also, I definitely got shiny again in my T-zone. So if you were to wear this, you would definitely have to wear like a mattifying primer, even though it's more of a matte foundation. It like throughout the day doesn't really like keep you matte. Um, also, it really accentuates dry areas. So if you have dry skin, definitely don't get this. Like if you have dry patches and stuff, like it's not going to be a matte foundation that's good for, you know, dry skin people. I definitely don't really like it and I don't think I'm going to be really wearing it again. Um, but if you're the type of person who kind of likes that um, matte finish, doesn't really have any um, dry patches and has kind of more normal skin but wants a matte foundation, then this is maybe a decent one for you. I don't really know, but for me, it's definitely a pass. So, Unfortunately, this, these stick foundations haven't really worked out for me. I haven't really liked them very much, but um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Bye, guys. Bye.